Hey everybody, it's David out at Reptile Gardens again, and today we have Kathy with us. Kathy is an assistant curator of reptiles, and she specializes in lizards, amphibians, and all of the big bugs we have out here today, and that's exactly what we are talking about, is one of those big bugs. Kathy, what do we have here today? What we have here today is something I'm pretty proud of. It's a giant Chinese mantis. Okay. And it's, it's huge. It's huge. I have never seen one this big either. <laughs> and she might take off on this when we open the lid, so we'll, we'll just see how this goes. That is huge. She I is mean, huge. this looks like a, a, a lizard or something. I mean, it's huge. I've never seen one this big. She, and She could actually eat a small lizard a frog, maybe a little bird, um, because she is big enough to do that. Do you see how her eyes are on, on the side of her head? They have very good eyesight, and they'll they'll move their eyes back and forth in, in their heads, and she's getting a feel for where she's at. Um, mantises can actually turn their neck. And most bugs can't do that, but they can go like 180 degrees with their neck, so they are very good at locating their prey, which... I mean... I want her to look at you when she's locating prey. I'm, I'm seeing her head move. I mean, her arms pivot. It's, it's, almost, it's almost creepy how human-like they move. They are so interesting. Just, they don't jump, do they? <laughs> she can. She has little wings. She can do a little bit of flying, too. And see how her front arms have all those little uh, barbs on them, and that's how she yeah. would grab her prey and hold on to it. And it's just about next to impossible for anything to escape from them. So now that's how she hunts. She literally just grabs her prey with those arms, correct? Correct. And now what's the next step after she grabs her prey? And then she would most generally bite the, the neck of the prey animal and that will paralyze it and then she'll commence to just eating it. Uh, so earlier you mentioned that they could eat smaller lizards. Uh, what What is their normal diet? Normally they, they do eat other insects and that's one reason you'll see more of them in our area than you used to because gardeners have used mantises and, and brought them into our area to uh, be help them with controlling pests. And yeah, garden. I've actually noticed these out on our grounds way more than I ever have, and they are a beneficial insect to have in the garden. So if you see one in your garden, you definitely want it there. You do want to, but generally those are, she's a giant Chinese, the normal Chinese are the ones that most people run into in um, their gardens. That's what they, you can buy eggs from uh, gardening locations, gardening suppliers. And speaking of eggs, that's what you have right here then too, right? These would be, what do you, what do you call these? These are egg cases and in there would be all sorts of little eggs waiting to hatch. You would find these attached to sticks, bushes out in your yard if you were to find them out there in their natural setting. Wow. So. Now, are these found pretty much the world throughout naturally, with the exception of obviously the very cold climate, but can you find these pretty much anywhere? You can, and they vary in size, like I said. Some are under an inch, some are up to at least six inches, and um, they can be really different patterns. That There will be those that look like flowers, so they can blend in with their surroundings there. These look like leaves, some will be more of a brown color, depends on, the, on their environment. They do tend to be more of a tropical animal or insect than, than uh, you know, we would find out in the prairie. But we do find them around here, and like I mm -hmm. said, a lot of them are introduced too. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see this, but her eyes, I mean, she moves her head and she just looks like this alien creature staring at me. I mean, whenever I move my head, she moves. She's <laughs> judging me. <laughs> She's looking right at me. She's in the pack. She's... <laughs> do they jump or do they... We'll find out how far she'll jump. So, what do you think? Do you think you want one for a pet? Mm, I, I think I would much rather just visit yours from time to time. Oh. Because... 
that's good. I have the right food source here. You definitely do. And, you know, I mean, speaking of what you have, Kathy, in this room, uh, normally people just see the frogs and the lizards from the other side of the glass. You've got so much stuff back here. I mean, I see baby frogs, I see gigantic spiders and scorpions and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, do you get creeped out by any of this stuff at all? I mean, people, I mean, people want to know who takes care of all of these creepy crawly things here. I'll tell you one of the creepiest things here to me are the cockroaches. Yeah. Um, Agreed. And the centipede gives me the willies. Yeah, that huge centipede. So yeah. Sounds like we've got another bug video on its way. Okay. We have plenty of them. Well, Kathy, I always, I have to thank you. I love spending time with you. I love learning about the stuff that you have. Um, and you're just, you're such a great sidekick in these videos, so. Well, normally I stay behind the scenes, but it's. Well, it's time people know who you are. Hi, I'm Kathy. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs>